Hey guys, here is another pick a card for you. This is the self care you need right now. So choose from our either pile one, two or three. And if you feel called to um, choose more than one pile, please like, share and subscribe. Um, and feel free to email me or reach out to me on any of my social medias um, if you would like to book in with a reading for me um, I do offer a range of different services and readings um, I am also a Reiki practitioner so if she would like some distant Reiki healing for any area of your life mind, body or spirit then please contact me and if you would like any spiritual coaching or teaching um, then feel free to reach out and inquire about that anyway let's get started with the reading So this is group one and this is what self-care you need. So first off, you've got the colour blue. So working with any blue crystals right now, um, any sort of singing, humming, um, chanting will really help you guys, particularly with if you've been having throat issues or having trouble with speaking up for yourself. Working with the colour blue will really help. So any of these crystals here, um, so you've got uh, blue kyanite, you've got celestite, uh, I'm not sure what they are, that starts with a C but I can never pronounce it. Any sort of blue crystal, blue lace agate, um, lapis lazuli, um, and blue calcite, particularly blue calcite would be really good. It's a really nice soft stone to work with. But so here we have the blue mermaid. Um, some of you might be called to drink more water, have more showers, go swimming. Um, maybe go visit a lake that you used to go see as a child. That might just be for one of you. There could be something there for you, some sort of realisation you might have whilst you're by this lake or river. The mermaid to me represents... Um, water energy so it's very um pisces kind of energy some of you might have mercury in pisces sun moon or rising in pisces or something significant may happen in pisces season um but you are being pre this is like pre-shadowing it now um now is the time to take care of your health mind body and spirit um there's so much water and i'm just getting a lot of water from this group so working with shower meditations epsom salt bath stuff like that baths where you can put particular crystals in and just bathe in it check what crystals you have or that can work with the bath because some will uh, disintegrate uh, some crystals are fine so we have the nine of swords which is typically a card of um anxiety and um nightmares night terrors being up at night um so what would really help you guys right now if you can get yourself into a sleep routine so where you try to go to bed at the same time every night and wake up at the same time every day even on your days off i feel like your sleep um is really being impacted right now or your mind is very anxious and if you um sort out some sort of a sleep routine that's going to really help your mind um these bats that are flying around her head when we get a lot more sleep it allows our body and mind to rest so if you are quite an anxious person some of you might have anxious attachment also um if you are quite an anxious person your mind is constantly on the go now what i'm hearing will help with this one you've got the color purple some of you might have an overactive mind um or imagination some of you might be scared of like certain bangs that go off in the night some of you might actually be scared of the dark if you can, maybe get a Himalayan salt lamp that you can keep on at night. So if you are waking up in the night or if you are scared to kind of sleep in the dark, that's going to help to calm you. Not only that, the Himalayan salt lamp um, gives off certain um, energies and, and stuff like that. That is really good for like stress and depression and all of that. I'm also hearing for this group to invest in a, um, oh, what's it called? It's a therapy light. Um, if you have seasonal depression or any type of depression or some sort of um, deficiencies in vitamin D if you don't get enough sunlight basically um, and you get low moods around the time of winter um, stuff like that 
working with a therapy light would really help. Um, basically what it does is it radiates this um, natural light in and what it does is it kind of sets off something in the brain waves to make you basically feel better within yourself. Of course this could be placebo but it works for some um, so I'm just feeling something like that might help you guys. Um, so then here um, we have the number 36 music, some of you might be life path 3 or 7. Um, did I say 36? I don't know if I, if I said 36 maybe there's something, maybe you want to look up angel number 36. But yeah, so you could be life path or soul expression 3 or 7 um, or something may happen on the 7th of January or March. Also, what will help with your self-care at this moment, music, singing, playing music, um, sound healing frequencies. Some of you might want to get a gong, get um, a Tibetan, Tibetan uh, singing bowl or crystal singing bowls, something with that. Or even just clapping, clapping or clicking. Um, I just feel like it will really help you guys. Listening to motivational singing. Um, music that will uplift you and help you feel better um there's a lot of pink sorry about that it just cut off um yeah so there's a lot of pink energy here so this is like heart chakra working with the heart chakra to open it up so then we have generosity so seeds of kindness and we have the acorn so how can you be more giving towards yourself how can you be more kind towards yourself i'm also hearing gardening would be really good for this group to plant seeds um and then to watch them kind of sprout and grow would be really beneficial for you guys. Then we have physical touch and do a lot to relieve your stress. So get a hug from a loved one. This releases oxytocin, which is associated with happiness and lower levels of stress. Yeah, um, part of your love language may actually be touch. So if you can, like, obviously, if you don't want to hug anyone at this moment, hug yourself. Just literally wrap your hands. Um, your arms around yourself and say I am lovable um, I am the best I am at the moment I am the best I can be for myself at the moment I am lovable I am beautiful I am good enough all of that kind of stuff um, so then we have some additional messages so these are your little charmies so let me just sort that out so once again you've got you've literally got two mermaids so this group really does need self-care I, I, water energy go to a beach if you can or water something to do with water is really significant for this group some of you might need to do a physical release like by crying um some of you might find it hard to cry maybe if you can watch a movie that will make you cry and then allow yourself to just release all this pent-up energy that's within. We also have the plane so you might travel somewhere maybe you'll travel um to go see friends or family um travel to maybe some of you might plan a retreat in the future that has music or some sort of sound healing or therapy we also have the star and it's pink um the star symbolizes success and aquarius energy and um being a star within your own right and within your own show and within your own life then we have the deer so what i'm getting from that is it's a baby fawn right um but I, what I got earlier from that was um, some of you might have a fawning response. So we have a fight, flight, freeze or fawn, yeah? Fawn is uh, when we people please, when we kind of live for others and um, say we don't like arguments and we, and we get in something with someone and we might speak up for ourselves and then we recoil within ourselves and then be agreeable to others. If you look up the fawning response, some of you may have that. What I'm hearing is part of your self-care is to work on any people-pleasing tendencies and put yourself first. Then we have the tree, which is all about grounding, um, getting connected to the earth, getting connected to yourself. You also have the leaf where there's a little bit taken out of it. Um, so some of you may feel a little bit um, ungrounded right now, feel like part of your energy is missing. Um, so maybe you want to do a meditation where you call back your energy um, or you want to connect with your ancestors to help you do this. You could light a candle and simply, with the intention, put out there, I'm calling back my energy to me now. Anyway, guys, that was your reading. Please like, share and subscribe. 
If you found this resonates, please let me know down in the comments section. If you did want a personal reading with me, Reiki healing or spiritual teaching, feel free to contact via my email or my social medias. I'm going to move on now, guys. Have a beautiful day. So this is group two, this is the self care you need right now. So first off we have forgiveness. Who do you need to forgive? Do you need to forgive your past self? Do you need to forgive your present self? Do you need to forgive a family member, a sibling, a friend, an ex? Who do you need to forgive within your life? Because when you forgive this person or this situation or circumstance, something's gonna bloom within you, something's gonna um, kind of awaken with you. The energy that was there that was unforgiving towards yourself or another, it's gonna be lifted from you. But um, working with the Honopono Pono, Pono prayer would be really good for you guys. If you just um, YouTube that, it will come up. Um, working with that at least once a day would be really good. Um, if it's you that you need to forgive yourself, just simply say the phrase, the Honopono Pono prayer, over and over again whilst looking in the mirror um, or maybe you could write a letter to your um, your younger self um, you know be the mother you didn't have be the father you didn't have be the lover you've never had or, or that you want you know be everything that you want yourself so we have a crushed flower still gives off a secret scent um, a sweet scent a secret scent a secret scent Part of your self-care is revealing some sort of a secret then. This could be a secret that's held within your subconscious towards yourself or another thing. And then we also have here, I think it's flowers, or I don't know why I saw grapes, but it's purple flowers. So working with uh, lavender could be really good for you guys. So um, having lavender hung up near your bed or putting lavender in like one of those little netting um, bags and having that under your pillow I think will really help you guys um, so then we have the nine of pentacles oh and there's grapes here oh so that's why we're seeing grapes okay this is all about focusing yourself self-improvement it's a single person card they are someone so totally totally wrapped up in luxury and self-care and um, basically living the high life so I feel like for you guys treat yourself Treat yourself to a manicure, treat yourself to um, a massage, treat yourself to some new clothes, um, treat yourself to a new meal or a new dish or something like that. The sun is shining here, so working with um, the Egyptian god Ra would be really good for you guys. Also doing uh, sun solutions, yoga poses would be really good for you guys. I feel like it will get you connected back to your sense of self but also it will help with your abundance particularly if you have struggled in the realm of finance. Then we have 49 spend time with family. 444 and 99 may be significant. Uh, some of you may be life path 9 or 4 and something may happen on the 4th of the month. I just keep hearing I've got 99 problems and mental health and one. Some of you are going to overcome your mental health as you work on yourself. Um, but obviously, please reach out to particular services if you need to, if you need that additional um, help. Spend time with friends. Oh, did I say family? Okay, spend time with friends or family is going to be really beneficial to you guys. We also here have the moon sequence. So pay attention to what your... Um, in your astrology chart what your moon sign is in um, and the house then look into that and find out what that means for you because that rules the the moon rules the house of like your kind of feelings and stuff like that um, whereas our sun sign is how we kind of present to the world and everything some of you may receive um, a message from a friend an old friend or you might reach out to old friends I feel like our um, would be really beneficial for you guys some sort of uh, sketching and drawing and then we also have here like cards some of you if you have your own deck of cards oracle cards tarot cards um maybe start giving yourself like a reading maybe pull a garden guidance card for your day each day to help you 
some of you might actually want to dye your hair as well so we here have blonde purple and green obviously only do that if you want to then we have mindfulness is the art of staying in the present moment and staying focused on your sensory experience so look into mindfulness um, actions that you can take you can also download an app it's a mindfulness app and it basically um, it's a guided app that can help you be in the moment and focus on your breath and just call you into a state of peace um, and well-being so we also here have the colour orange, so working with the sacral chakra would be really beneficial, so anything creative would be really helpful to you guys. We have the castle, now what's inside the castle, is it royalty, is it a princess and a king, um, and a queen and a prince, is it loads of lavish food, what's inside your castle, yeah, who is home to you, where is home to you, home is a feeling. So where do you feel most at home? Is it with your friends? Is it um, in a mindfulness meditation kind of thing? So now we have some additional messages. We have some charms. So once again, we've got orange. So working with the colour orange, eating oranges, having more orange. Um, some of you might want to look into taking a vitamin C supplement or just making fresh orange juice would really help particularly if you've had any sort of illness recently it will help uh, to kind of just boost up your immune system I'm also hearing echinacea um, and elderberry you can get that as tea um, and drink, just drink that as a tea we have the owl the wise owl follow your intuition your intuition is already trying to guide you to the best self-care that you need right now then we have the moon once again we've got the moon the moon is really significant to you guys but I feel like it's the moon within your chart your astrology chart so you can um find out through cafe astrology or astro.com your natal chart and all of that um, and it will talk you through it working with the fairies calling on the fairies will help you get into your inner child energy we have the rabbit um, maybe look into the shamanic meaning of rabbit symbolism i feel like there's going to be news or a message coming in for you an announcement we have the hands the hands you are protected no matter what you are thinking or feeling you are protected you are protected you are protected you can also draw this symbol um, on a piece of paper and put it above your bed um, or put it in your notepad or something that you work from would really help you guys. And then we have the affinity symbol which is all about oneness and connecting with yourself and the universe. Everything is interconnected, everything goes round and round in a cycle and patterns. Um, you are releasing old patterns and cycles as you transcend, as you move forward. The self-care you most need right now is to get connected to yourself. Um, and connected to your sacral chakra, uh, chakra. so um, anything creative for this group and if you've not reached out to that person that you want to reach out to friend, family, lover, whatever, reach out if you feel you want to, just do it um, but yeah guys, that was your reading let me know in the comment section if it did resonate if you would like a personal reading with me uh, distant Reiki healing or any of my... Um, coaching services please feel free to contact via my social media or email i'm going to move on now guys have a beautiful lovely blessed day bye bye So this is group three. This is the self-care you need right now. So first off, we have present. Journey into the garden to escape the two eternities, the past and the future. So right now, if you are too focused in your past or too focused on your present, uh, sorry, if you're too focused on the past or too focused on your future, you're not in the present moment. You're not. It's like um, the lights are on, but nobody's home. Now is the time to recenter back into the present moment. Write down three things today you are grateful for or make a note of it in your head. Three things today you are grateful for and why. It will help bring you back into this present moment. Um, we also here have the leaf. Um, it reminds me of nettle. So working with uh, some of you, if you've had any sort of allergies, nettle tea would be really helpful. I'm also hearing eucalyptus. So eucalyptus, essential oil, um, 
an organic uh, pure one uh, working with that uh, placing that on your temples if you've been having headaches putting that on your um, wrists uh, with a carrier oil so like coconut oil or something like that uh, could just really help you bring you into the present moment you can use sensory things like incense sage uh, particular smells to bring you back in the present moment I feel like uh, this group sensory, se sensory kind of things would help things that you can particularly touch or smell would be really beneficial to you guys um, some of you might actually want to get like a fidget spinner or one of those things it's like it's one of those new things that have come out and you pop it um, it's like popping popping material stuff that might help you guys to kind of if you're quite fidgety or um if your mind's racing um it would just help you to kind of focus your thoughts on that um and bring you back into a place of grounding so then we have the ten of pentacles so focusing on work right now might actually help you create a clear plan and your goals so for instance before the new year is out Write down three things you want to accomplish in your field, in your work, going into next year or throughout the year. Three things that you want to succeed in, you want to accomplish um, and do. Something that you can be proud of. It's in the material realm, so it's in the physical realm. It could be to do with abundance, money, uh, job, work, finances. Leave that job if you um, feel that is what you are destined to do. Follow your intuition. Apply for those other jobs. Write that book. Do that essay. Do that email. Um, apply for that course. Um, some of you might be called to work with herbs, natural herbs and healing. Some of you might want to go into psychology. Some of you might want to go back to college or university to study. We also here have wine. Um, so maybe having treating yourself to a glass of wine. Um, if you drink you don't have to um in particular mold wine and get organic if you can just treat yourself nurture yourself but pay attention to what you are also putting into your body what you're drinking what you're saying to yourself what you're eating and how you're feeling when you eat or drink certain substances then we have the number one abundance planning uh, you might be seeing 1111 or 111 or over the next week you probably will see that. Pay attention to what you're thinking when those numbers come up. You might be life path 1 or you might be life path 11. So first off she's writing in a book and you've also got the money here. So you've got 10, 20, 50 and 100. Some of you might actually receive some money or gift some money. Now remember, when we give to people that are less fortunate than us, not only are we doing something for the greater good of humanity, but when we give, we also receive. It's an energy exchange. All money is, is energy. So if some of you have been struggling with money, work on limiting beliefs surrounding money that you may have adopted from whoever brought you up or your caregivers. Pay attention to how you feel about money. Maybe work on clearing those blocks if you have them. Then we also have the Chinese uh, symbol of the cat, which represents kind of like good luck and blessings. Some of you may have a cat or you might get a cat or working with animals might actually help you guys to um, feel better within yourself. So we have laughing out loud mentally lightens the load on your brain. It also lowers the body's stress hormones and boosts endorphins to help your mood. Yeah, laughing is honestly one of like the best cures. Um, so put on a funny film, watch a uh, comedian, watch animal videos or cat videos, things that make you laugh. So we have the colour purple, so working with the colour purple, wear it, work with crystals, burn purple candles for protection um, and spirituality and um, heightened gifts. Um, so we have the storm. So some of you may be going through a storm, um, but after the storm comes the sun. So just remember that. So we have some additional messages. We have some charms. So this is the self-care you need right now. So we have the colour green. So working with the heart chakra, working with green crystals, green calcite, um, green moss, green agate, um, all of that kind of stuff. Going out into nature, grounding, hugging trees, earthing. Um, maybe some of you want to go to the woods and actually plant a tree 
um, look into how you do that. I don't know how you do it, but um, that would be really beneficial for you guys. You also have the anchor, so you are going to be feeling a lot more rooted within yourself if you spend the time out in nature or um, out grounding your energy. You can YouTube grounding meditations or simply go out into the garden or um, a woodlands and put your feet on the grass um, or just walk out into the woods. It will really help you guys. So we have the star with the fairy looking down. So you may have been looking down at stuff. You may have been looking to the past and not feeling so great. That's not helping you right now. Unless you can see situations in the correct light, unless you can see the lesson within things, looking back on the past and crying over it repetitively isn't going to help. It's draining your energy. It's draining your resources. Focus on something else right now if you can. We also have the wheel. So it reminds me of the wheel of fortune. Things are turning, things are changing. Change is paramount in this group. Change is coming. Things aren't going to stay the same. Things are shifting for this group. You have the sun, and I just said about the sun there. Brighter days are coming. Um, I think I said in the first group about getting a therapy light. Working with a therapy light or maybe taking some vitamin D supplements would be really good for this group. Um, particularly if you've been feeling quite fatigued and having hurty bones. Um, look into that, go and get blood tests, do what you need to do. Um, working with the sun energy would be really good for this group. So um, going for morning walks when the sun is out or just going for walks in general in the morning I feel would really help. We have the elephant which represents tribe. You do have a tribe around you, you do have a support network even if it is just online or even if it just is in spirit. Reach out to whoever you need to. You are not alone and there is help and there also is financial help if you are struggling financially. We also have the angels. So someone in spirit is there for you. You have a guardian angel protecting you. Um, what's the green guardian angel? The energy. Raphael. Call upon guardian um, archangel Raphael uh, for additional support, particularly if you are healing things within your heart chakra or within your childhood. Um, I'm also seeing if someone has passed over recently, they are one of your guardian angels. They are around you and you could probably feel their energy around you also. Anyway, guys, that was your reading. If you did like this, please let me know down in the comment section. If you would like a uh, reading, Reiki healing or coaching session with me, then please let me know via my email um, or social medias. And have a beautiful, lovely, blessed day, guys. Bye-bye.